Hello, I present Rose Grand Control 3 in matte grey color and size large. I ordered this bike directly from manufacturer's website and it came in the largest box I have ever seen. That box is just gigantic and is 2 meters long. It has three opening knobs and the middle one is additionally secured with a red seal. If you find this movie useful, I will be grateful for leaving a like and subscription, it helps a lot in developing the channel. Large size of the box has its pluses and minuses. Advantage is that the bike was practically ready to ride. Only cockpit needed adjustment and I had to mount pedals, which were not included in the set. Disadvantage is that if you want to keep it, for example to send the bike back under warranty, which by the way is 6 years for the frame, it takes a lot of space. Bike itself was well assembled and some parts had even too much grease, so at the time when you see bikes from top brands for 4, 5, 6 thousand euros, which arrive completely dry and not adjusted, Rose looks really good. As for the quality of the frame, I have nothing to complain about. I didn't find any imperfections on its matte finish and places that should be protected were clean and tidy. All bolts were correctly tightened and suspension was smooth. Just a tiny minus for chainstay protector that was peeling off. Handlebar which was slightly scratched from the beginning and sharp remains in the steering tube, which if they got inside the fork, could cause significant damage. And the last thing was compressed dropper cable, which caused slow seat post extension. But overall, I think that bike was prepared quite well. Of course, suspension required oil service, but it was not completely dry. And now it is time for the rest of the components, and here Rose win with all of its competition. In my opinion, it is the best downcountry trail full suspension bike that you can buy for about 2000 euros. It has 120-120 travel and geometry very similar to specialized Epic Evo. The only differences are the frame material, classic horse suspension instead of flex tape, and few millimeters here and there. 1x12 drivetrain is a mix of Shimano XT and SLX groups, and even here, unlike other companies, Rose did not skimp and bottom bracket is XT and chain is SLX. Dropper post with 150-180 adjustable travel and this gigantic shifter with a lever covered with sandpaper are F13 products. Cockpit may not be the most beautiful or the lightest, but it is still a good reverse. Rose also used Formula Cura brakes combined with two 100mm rotors. And wheels are the newest DT1700 with improved and lighter generation of 350 hubs and 36 to Fratchet. They have welded rims with internal width of 30mm which rolls on Maxxis Forecaster tires. But the best part is suspension. Damper is a RockShox Deluxe Select Plus and at the front you can also find the newest Pike Select Plus with Charger 3 damper, which is the same as in the most expensive Ultimate version. So on a bike which costs 2000 euro, there are wheels for 500, fork for 700, accessories for 400, and all of this with pedals and tubes weighs just 14.5 kilograms. Standard specification was so good that there was no need to change anything but I would not be myself if I left it like this. So I installed very good SLX 7100 brakes and thanks to this I was able to mount XTR seat post lever. I replaced heavy reverse cockpit with a mix of Hope, Ergotec 70 riser bar and Ergon grips. I installed custom DT wheels on Industry 9 hubs with proven and fast Victoria Mescal TNT tires and I changed cassette to smaller one with shorter cage derailleur. Thanks to this, bike now weighs less than 14 kilograms. 
I'm still wondering whether to install Seed Ultimate and cut another 500 grams, or maybe I will decide to buy much lighter new Epic 8 with a SWAT storage in the frame, which has always been my dream. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!